What we are doing with this project uh, is to think about uh, a way of building a really large space telescope of the order of 100 meters. And uh, uh, this telescope is made from identical pieces which are assembled together, self-assembled together in space. So instead of trying to uh, fold a large structure on the ground and put it into a rocket, our idea is to uh, send into space individual pieces so that they can uh, form the structure, the large structure by themselves. If the autonomous assembly is possible, then we can actually replace the whole architecture of spacecraft will change. So for very expensive missions, you can actually uh, build a satellite in modular way. We came up with this idea for a way of demonstrating how a space telescope could be made by assembling uh, mirrors together in orbit autonomously. Um, we thought that uh, to show how this could be done, we would do a demonstration mission based on very small satellite technology. The first piece is the uh, construction of a large mirror out of many small pieces. Here you see Keith Patterson, who is a graduate student at Caltech, who is working on the fabrication of the mirrors. We start from uh, just flat silicon wafers. You can see it has a nice reflective surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat this substrate with basically a primer. If you've ever done any painting before, you coat your surface with a primer and then you put your paint on. And so we build up basically painting the substrate layer by layer, uh, producing uh, the different layers of the mirrors that we want. And then once we have those layers, we can produce some nice uh, patterns that once we get them all wired up and hooked up to the electronics that we need, then we can provide actuation to the mirror, deform the mirror in order to provide the exact shape that we want. So right now this aluminum is covering the whole substrate, but what we want to do is we want to pattern this aluminum um, using our photolithography process. We've already put the photoresist on the substrate underneath the aluminum and it's been exposed and developed. So the photoresist is actually in the negative pattern of the structure that we want the aluminum to have. So what we're going to do now is actually remove this photoresist and along with it the aluminum which is on top of it. So removing the negative pattern we actually get um, the pattern that we want. As you can see uh, the hexagonal pattern is forming on the aluminum. That's the pattern that we had created with photoresist and that's the pattern that we're getting right now on the substrate. And after that is done, what we want to do is actually make this structure, as opposed to flat, which, is, which it is now, in a spherical shape, because that's the shape that mirrors are made of. The second component of the study is the docking system. The purpose of the docking system is to bring together and interconnect uh, uh, a bunch of satellites which have been launched by themselves, and they need to come together in the correct arrangement. The way in which this docking system is going to work is by means of a series of electromagnetic rods. The third component uh, of our project is the guidance, navigation and control for our nanosatellites. Um, what we have to do is to sense at any one time during a maneuver uh, the position of a nanosatellite and its orientation and we need to correct for that position in case it is not exactly what we had envisaged. Marin Kobilarov is a Keck Institute postdoctoral fellow and he is working with us on the guidance and navigation part of our project. We want to be able to test uh, different uh, reconfiguration and docking scenarios. Okay? So by reconfiguration, we mean um, you know, multiple spacecraft be able to move around and attach or detach to form different shapes. Okay? And these different shapes correspond to different uh, apertures of a mirror. Okay? And by docking, we mean the actual process of uh, these spacecraft linking together. And that's accomplished using active uh, electromagnetic forcing and a specific latching mechanism. The fourth component of our study uh, is concerned with testing of the whole system. We would like to verify on the ground that um, the whole process of self-assembly is going to work. Now, in reality, it's impossible to test this on the ground uh, at low cost. So what we will do instead is to carry out as many simple tests as we can, and we will combine those tests by means of a virtual testing technique, which will put all of the experimental results together with simulations, which will tell us what is the overall outcome of an assembly process. I hope that uh, this effort will bring a, a new way of assembling large structure and uh, completely change the future uh, architecture of the missions and spacecraft uh, manufacturing. Trying to assemble a telescope in space has never been done before. And uh, so it's a risky proposition at this point. 
Now, of course, this is the reason why the Keck Institute is funding us to do this work. Uh, because it has great potential and if successful, it will be a game changer for future space technologies.